In this problem, we're going to go ahead and try to find the mean given a frequency distribution. So take a look. First thing that you should notice is we're not given a data set. So we can't actually compute the actual mean. So when we have a frequency distribution, all we could do is find an approximation. So using StatCrunch, we're going to go ahead and open up this data. Let's go ahead and open this up into StatCrunch. Now you have to go to a different location. You're going to go to Stat, then Summary Stats. And now instead of selecting columns, <clears throat> you're going to select Grouped slash Bin Data. Now my bins, this was in the low temperature. And then my counts is the frequency. And then I could go ahead and click on Compute. So now it gives me my mean and everything else with this frequency distribution. Let's go ahead and put these in. Let's do side by side. So the mean of the frequency distribution is, okay, and now it's telling me to round to the nearest tenth as needed. So the nearest tenth is that first decimal place, which is that eight. So if I take a look at the number to the right, since that number is less than five, I keep the eight the same. So I have 51.8 degrees, 51.8. <clears throat> okay, now it's saying which of the following best describes the relationship between the computed mean and the actual mean. Okay, so all these uh, answer choices is saying that the computed mean is either close or not close, and then the threshold is it has to be less than 5% of the actual mean. Okay, so what we have to do is it's saying that the difference has to be uh, the difference has to be less than 5% of the actual mean. So first I'm going to go ahead and find the difference between the mean that we calculated and then the actual mean of 56.2. So let's go ahead, subtract those. So first I have to find out what the difference is. So I have 56.2 minus 51.8. 56.2 minus 51.8. This gives me 4.4. Okay, so now I want to see, is this difference less than 5% of the actual mean. So to figure out what the percentage is, I'm going to go ahead, take 4.4, this is the difference that we found, and I divide it by the actual mean, which is 56.2, and I want to see if this is less than 5%. So I have 4.4 divided by 56.2. Okay, this gives me 0 0.078.29. And now if I change this into a percentage, I'm going to take the decimal, move it to the right two times. This gives me 7.8%. So the difference between the means is 7.8% of the actual mean. So that means that the result that we obtained is not close to the actual mean. So let's go ahead, go back and take a look at our answer choices. <clears throat> so first one says the computed mean is close to the actual mean. Well, we just saw it's not because it's more than 5%. The computed mean is close to the actual mean? No. So the computed mean is not close to the actual mean because the difference between the means is less than 5%? Well, no, that's not it. It's because it's more than 5%, which is D.